Good to make a welcome to the club. Can you sum up how excited you are to be here? Yeah, buzzing. Um, can't wait to get going. Um, you know, these things can happen quite quickly in football, and once you'd had a you know a conversation with the people in charge, it was pretty pretty clear the ambition of the club. And yeah, like I said, I can't wait to get going. And that ambition has been talked about a lot over the last few years as well. Is it something that you've been aware of from, from afar that the club's progress? Yeah, massively. I think sort of only living 15, 20 minutes down the road as well. You, you know, you're close to it, and I think there's been a fair bit of misfortune as well. I think the club was obviously very hardly done by with the circumstances, you know, during the pandemic and whatnot. Um, you know, and there's a, a score to settle really. Um, you know, and hopefully this this year we can go that one step further. After you've seen from your own perspective how the facilities here have progressed over the years, you were here with you five years ago now, how, yeah. how much has, has it changed from then, would you say? I didn't recognise it to be honest. I think it was 2017 I was looking when we came in the Cup and that was a total, totally different setup. You know, it's it's got everything in place to go all the way to the Football League, I firmly believe that. I think that's the plans of the chairman. Um, it's already backed, you know, with a fan base. Um, you know, there's there's nothing stopping it now. We have to, you know, deliver with, you know, the results on the pitch. Obviously, the team just missed out on promotion last year as well. Is it important to really kick the rock, hit the ground running next season as well, and, and for the new guys to really stamp your authority on the on the, the squad quite early? I think so. Yeah, I think you know momentum's massive in football as well. I've seen it. You know, coming off the back of this season, it was a, a sticky start at York. Mm. Um, you know, and after the Christmas period, you know things really kicked on and. You know, you can get onto a, a, you know, there's plenty of games and a, a quick roll. You know, results come. Um, you know, and the games do come thick and fast. Uh, but yeah, it's always important to get a good start. And you know, I'm sure. I think the 30th of June, the lads are back in. We'll be, we'll be right back at it. Plus, you're okay with a lot of experience as well. Is that the sort of thing you look to bring to the group as well? Like that experience, like the promotion experience that you've got as well. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, the, I spoke to the gaffer and, like I said, the people in charge. I think he's looking to get that balance right between sort of a mixture of experience and youth. Um, I think that's important. Um, and yeah, I think you know, there's there's hopefully nothing stopping us. It's it's a tough league. You know, there's some good teams, there's some good players. You know, we played a couple of teams in this league coming from York in the cup last year, and they were tough games. Um, but you know, we've we've got going back in ourselves against anyone for sure. Your player is well known in the game. You play for a lot of great clubs. But for anyone who is unaware of your journey in football, can yeah. you sort of give a quick sort of tour of where you've been? Just a bit of an all rounder, really. I've obviously started um, Leeds and Chelsea as a kid. Um, had a probably my, my longest spell at Hartlepool. Um, been around sort of the, the football league and the, the national league more than anywhere else. And um, you know, hopefully, you can bring that experience to to the club here and just a combative you know I like to get all around the pitch um, get stuck in and you know it'll be a 100% every every game for me for sure and you mentioned earlier some of the early conversations that you've had with the, with the gaffer and some of the coaching staff as well how, in, how enthused has that left you about what lies ahead next season yeah massively obviously you, you grow up watching the gaffer as a kid on the telly um, I think that you know it comes right from the top of the chairman I think it's quite clear what his plan is not just for this season but going forward for the club um, and I think it's important it's, it's backed by sort of that fan base as well because um, I think some clubs maybe there's a ceiling where you know certain crowds you can only maybe go so far um, I think there's no ceiling here at all um, you know, I think it can it can go like I said all the way right right through to the football league for sure um, you know and sky really is the limit I just can't wait to get going you mentioned earlier about your time here that you had it with, I think four or five years ago now. How impressed yeah. were you with, with the club that day and the fan base? I think the people are the first you know, impression that you get. Um, I think everyone involved, obviously stemming from the top again, are, are good people in the club. Um, I think that helps. Um, but you know, most, most importantly, it's, it's hard work. Um, you, know, you don't get anywhere unless everyone's pulling in the same direction. And Fingers crossed, you know, speaking to the gaffer, you know, the, the lads that... You know, maybe you're adding to the mix that they've already had. Um, can bring that. Um, you know, and, and, and let, let, let's have it. Let's you know bring it on. Obviously, last season went very well for for York City. You got promotion in the end as well. How, how sort of much experience did you take from that? I know you're an experienced player anyway, but how much is that experience going to help you next season? Would you say? Yeah, it's massive. I think it's always important to have people that have won things in the group. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you know current squads. Um, like I said, I spoke to the gaffer and. You know, hearing about the plans and you know other potential players that may be coming in to help with you know what's obviously already a good group of players. Um, you know, I, I don't see there's any any real reason why we can't really push on. Um, but you know, the the be all and end all is that that hard work. You know, we've been in the northeast base now for seven eight years, and I know how crazy they are about football. Um, and if you you know give them everything on the pitch, they'll back you 100%. And I'm sure the gaffer and you know the chairman are building the team to do just that. 
just find another players are back in for training at the end of June. How are you looking forward to getting back involved with the team and to, to meet your new teammates for the first time? Yeah, it's always exciting. I think there's always a buzz around pre-season. Um, you know, I'll be honest, as a player, I'm, I'm looking forward to the game starting. I think the first game in front of the fans is always, you know, you know, the big one. Um, probably a week, a week into the running being done there as well, which is always nice as a player. Um, but yeah, there's, the breaks aren't as long as they used to be, so now you, you've got to keep yourself ticking over. And like I said, I think it's the 30th of June, so you know, hopefully that comes around quick and we can, you know, we can uh, have a real good go at it.